Today marks 40 years since the longtime suspected killer in the Atlanta child murder case was arrested, but the arrest was not for that case. It was for an unrelated one. The fact is Wayne Williams was not tried in any of the children's murders in the late 70s and 80s, and no one else has ever been convicted in those cases either. So where do efforts stand to bring closure to the families now? Naima Abdullahi takes a look at the case that has haunted Atlanta for decades. The Atlanta child murders case returned to national headlines two years ago when police reopened the case nearly 40 years after the tragic killing spree began. Now we're following up to see any progress that has been made. Wayne Williams, considered the prime suspect in the Atlanta child murders case, has been behind bars since June 21, 1981. He was convicted in 1982 for the murder of two adult men unrelated to the child murders, but he was never charged in the killing spree that would become one of the most notorious cases in U.S. history, even though Williams is the only suspect investigators have ever made known publicly. Forty years ago, investigators were limited by technology. Two years ago, the city announced it was reopening the case. Now comes the task of testing all possible DNA evidence in the child murders. APD stated today that, quote, funding needed to move forward with the testing was approved today, and we are in the process of coordinating with the vendors to submit the evidence and make payment for the testing. Wayne Williams was denied parole in 2019. The next time he could be considered is November 2027. And Naima Abdullahi has extensively covered the Atlanta child murders. You can find her reporting right now at 11alive.com slash Atlanta child murders.